okay? A lot of us think the laundry room, just to throw away, no one's really gonna see it. Well, we actually wanna spend some time talking about the laundry room today because you can have a pretty good laundry room makeover. You can do it in a couple of days. You can. And you can do it for around how much money? You could do it for less than 350 and you can do it even less than a couple of days. Okay, so, so very quick makeover. It's a quick makeover. Let me set the stage. Yeah. I was at a friend's cottage a couple weeks ago. We were doing the tour. She had redone everything. It was stunning. We got to a door. She walked right by that door and I said, well, what's in there? And she said, oh, it's the laundry room. Don't worry about it. There's nothing in there. Yeah. And I said, well, what do you mean there's nothing in there? I said, that's, that's a perfect opportunity to really do a weekend cottage makeover. Okay. Which brings us to the next point. We spend our weekends at the cottage. We want to enjoy as much time as possible. We don't want to be doing too much, you know, kind of work stuff. So right. how can we do a, kind of like a Botox uh, makeover to a space <laughs> and rather than a reconstructive surgery? Just a quick injection. Just a quick injection. Doesn't so hurt. utilitarian space, I mean, you know, if you're lucky enough to have these gorgeous Frigidaire appliances, yeah. great. They add definitely something to a space. But usually laundry rooms are very utilitarian. They have your closet. They have, you know, maybe some space for storage, mm -hmm. but nothing really special. Yeah. And that's probably why a lot of people stay out of the laundry room so often it's why I do because it's just you know they're very boring yeah to it doesn't feel sort of like a pretty space no. although if I had these babies well exactly let me right? tell you so who cares about the rest if you're lucky enough to have these, are these beautiful. gorgeous beauties thank yes. you to Frigidaire for these but Absolutely. this is sort of imagine our before imagine so it's before. just doing the purpose there's nothing special nothing, nothing special about, about it. it I mean right? even this is a little bit special because it does have the it's paint a little special it. a little special okay but still it's not super special okay so let's let's, let's look at super special let's do super special let's see what we did in a couple of days or less in a couple of days, so actually this yesterday, Steve and I spent mm, three hours, the two of us, got all this done. Amazing. So imagine in a space eight by eight, this wall is eight feet, so eight by eight, you could really get a space done if you're good, with some help, perhaps yeah. in half a day. Yeah. What have we done here? So in the in the before shot, we have the cabinet centered in the wall, and that's usually where people are most comfortable having their cabinet is centered in the wall, just because mm -hmm. visually that's what we like. But when you have something centered in a wall, you lose most of the space to the sides of that piece. True. It's also a focal point. Do you want your cabinet to be your focal point? Probably not. Mm -hmm. So what we did over here is we actually moved it over to the side. And then, thank you, Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore has now created chalkboard paint, which can come in any of their colors. So we've ah. only not painted it. We actually painted it in chalkboard paint. Smart. So that when you have people over, That's you know, awesome. You want to remind them where to put the laundry? Right, right there, right? I can't Get it, there. Shy. Not on the floor. I get it. Not on the floor. Get it in the target. Got <laughs> exactly. It. Moved it over. So great, great, uh, kind of great space saver, but we do need to then balance it out on the other side. So we've yeah. added some floating shelves here. The floating shelves are in a birch finish from IKEA. Thank you, IKEA, for this. IKEA for weekend fast kind of get so those good. done projects. They're amazing for stuff like mm -hmm. that. Added some beadboard at the bottom. Thank you, Home Depot, for cutting this for us. So this is all prefab. This is not anything that's been custom. You can get it at Home Depot for really reasonably priced, you know, a really reasonable price. Added some trim, painted it almost, it was a neutral. So we really wanted to ensue almost a natural look. We're at the cottage. Yeah. We want to keep that natural look in the space. Mm -hmm. Added some task lights above. I love these. They're so uh, they're so urban in a sense, but then they're also very country in the sense that they've added a color to it. So instead yeah. of being chrome and being a very urban and, and industrial look, it has the industrial look, but it also gives a little bit more of a warmer feel to it. For sure. Um, next, oh, the back. Okay, so that is that is absolutely gorgeous. And if you are at the cottage, you do want to keep that connection to nature. So. You do. You absolutely do. And oftentimes in laundry in laundry rooms, you'll be either in an interior house. Uh, interior room in your house mm -hmm. or you might be in the basement there's, you no, don't window. Really, there's no windows mm -hmm. so mural unique is a favorite company of mine out of Quebec and what they do is print murals and they have hundreds of images on and this is my favorite part reusable wallpaper oh. so this can be applied taken down and then reapplied in a different space should you choose to do so very cool after the show we are gonna drop for a $350 gift certificate for mural yes. unique you can go get your own forest in your house or whatever you want. Yes. Now we got to talk about this now. Let's just talk about Let's this. Let's pretend we had mismatched washer dryer. Mismatched. We don't necessarily want everyone looking at our stuff. Exactly. So growing up, our washer and dryer at the cottage was like whatever we inherited from whoever For decided sure. they wanted to give us something. That's what we had. Yeah. And nobody ever wanted to look at it. Today though, I remember it had kind of like one of those sundial uh, turn knobs don't on it. Don't you wish so you retro. had it? I know. I wish now I had mm -hmm. it. But then who knew? So. 
Let's turn to Europe for a second to get a little bit of inspiration. In Europe, if you think of those European homes, European kitchens, that kind of double task in having a washer or dryer in the kitchen, yeah. they do a little blind that goes in, a little curtain that goes in front of it because you don't necessarily want to look at it. Mm -hmm. So why not apply that here? Mismatched washer and dryers. What we've done here is actually, again, Home Depot has just cut some plywood for us. We've matched the beadboard on the side by applying a, a thin veneer. But most importantly, most you've created importantly, this cute little, we've got a curtain well, going on here. And, and, and there Easy you material, and there you would have your, your laundry pair. And again, these are IKEA, so how fun. IKEA has fabulous, fabulous patterns right now. Yeah. And they're so much fun, and you can really add a, a, a great part of your personality into a space with just some great fabric uh, panels. Okay, well, go home. You can do, do it in a do couple it. hours. And it can be That's done what in a he couple said. Hours. You can do it in a couple Swear. hours. Get right some help. Get it done. Send <laughs> us pictures. Thank you, Shy. Thank you.